hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be installing this 6x6 closure and this is hair from the store here I do not know what happened to the part with the cap and I think that whole scene basically got deleted but I did use a different type of glue I'm gonna have the glue information listed down in the video and I'm gonna have it in the description box so I did do two layers of this glue and after that I went ahead and applied the lace as you guys can see the glue is very wet still so I haven't fully pressed everything in I'm waiting for it to dry little by little and I'm tapping it in as I go this is like different from ghost bond this glue is kind of compared to like ultra hold so you can't really be too I don't know it's a little bit harder to work with versus using ghost bond so I am gonna go be going in with my blow dryer and I blow dried it out and I pressed it down I'm now parting her hair in the middle and I'm going to be using my Care Care Wax Stick, by the way. Yes, this is what I'm using right now. I took it back to the old days when this was like the first wax stick I ever, ever knew about. And it's been around for a long time. So it is the Care Care Wax Stick. I'm now going to begin her baby hairs. And I'm just basically doing my little swoops. I pull out front pieces. And I just pull out little strands. I pluck them if I need to. I'm going to be using the She's Bomb Collection Bomb Goo Gel. That's the gel that I always use and I will be cutting the baby hairs today with a razor. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue this little routine. If you guys are interested, I do have a full dedicated baby hair. Excuse me. I have a full dedicated baby hairs tutorial. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll have it linked down below. Alright y'all, so now I'm just going to begin sewing the closure down to her braids. I did not know that this was such a horrible view. I'm sorry y'all, I had no idea that y'all was not getting the view. But I will do another dedicated video on um, a 6x6 six six closure and I will make sure that you guys can really, really see how I'm basically sewing this in. But I'm sewing it in the same way as I would sew a track. So this is how it looks once it's sewn in. left and then cut it and then sew it to the right side and then do the back piece you never want to sew it all going at once because it'll end up folding so now I'm going to begin by sewing her first track and I do double my web as you guys can see she's gonna add some oil to her hair because whoever did her braids get them super super tight but she feels that the oil is going to loosen up the grip I doubt it so she's going ahead and adding in oil so y'all, just so you guys know, this is my friend Malika. She is also a hairstylist. So yeah, we just like talking and doing each other hair and shit. So yeah. <music> So I basically continue the same routine once I get to the top. Now I'm going to be taking my oil sheen and I'm going to spray the top of her hair and I'm going to spray my oil sheen, part her hair and spray the oil sheen and then hot comb it. This is how I get the, the top of her hair to be super, super flat and neat. And I'm basically going to continue this routine all the way up till I get to the top of her hair.
So I went back in again with my Care Care Wax Stick and I'm just going to be using my brown Fantasia Spritz to spritz the top of her hair. And I'm also going to be refixing the part. And this is what I basically do to get the hair super flat and fleek at the top. I take that and I go in with my hot comb. I'm probably going to do this routine two or three times. This just makes everything look sleek, nice, and clean. Now I'm just going to be parting her hair and I'm going to be going in chunks. I'm going to be chunks. I'm going to be going in chunks. I'm going to be taking my oil sheen and I'm going to spray each row as I go and I'm going to be using my curling iron to curl the hair. As you guys can see, I'm going in like spiral curls. I hold it for about 30 seconds or so, then I let it go and then I pull the curl as I go. So I'm going to basically continue that same routine. I like to shake the curl in my hand so the curl can get kind of cool in my hand and I don't pull it while it's too hot because that'll make the curl drop way faster. So here we are guys, we're almost done. I'm just going over some curls and doing a couple curls over. And this is basically how it's looking so far. So this is the final look. This is how it's looking. We're going to begin to comb out and pull out the curls. I get really annoying so I do end up putting like doing a couple curls over but now we decide that we're just going to comb out everything. So this is the final look guys. Make sure you guys check out Desore Hair for some bomb affordable quality hair. I am wearing, well she is wearing 30 inches and yes y'all check out this closure.